Jim, I'm with you on that. There is no higher office in the Ohio House of Representatives. I'm honored to be here today with Representative Adams and Senator Grindel and, of course, with the longtime friend Jim Petro. We've been looking at a situation in the state of Ohio that is of increasing difficulty and concern to all of us, to taxpayers and to those who are dependent upon government services. I think it's important what we will hear tomorrow from the governor's office and from the governor himself in his state of the state message. I hope that as part of the difficulty that we face, we will examine potential policies which would change in a permanent and long-term way how the state is run in many regards. The governor has been very straightforward in a number of these areas himself. One of the ones that I appreciated the most was an effort to create a department of education as a Cabinet Public Post some time ago. Frankly, the governor should get blamed for whatever goes on in the area of primary secondary. They probably ought to have the responsibility in a direct way for it. We have one change in the materials that you may have in front of you, and that is that we have not addressed the Department of Veterans Affairs in that particular material. That's for a simple reason. That department has just been established. We want to work with the former House member, who is a friend of ours, Bill Hartnett, and also with those who have a strong interest in that department. That would be the American Legion, VFW, Vietnam Vets of America, AMVETS, and all the other groups that represent veterans, so that we would have the potential to figure out whether they belong within another department, how that ought to be done. So that part of the state government overall is not addressed. The consolidation and reorganization of state government is a challenge that has faced us for years. Basically, our state government today is established, and as you know, I'm not opposed to doing things historically. It's been established under the Constitution of 1912, and that was a good effort, but some things have changed since 1912, but not so much in state government except for growth and excessive employment and those kinds of things, and those are not helpful in terms of providing service to the citizens of this state. The executive branch is too large and too bloated. Twenty-four cabinet departments and over 300 boards, commissions, task forces, councils. In many cases, these organizations have employees who basically are not doing very much, and I'm speaking now of some of the boards and commissions, but overall, we have a very large state government. Other states have been moving to address these problems, and I think given the opportunity that we have at a time where there is a difficulty in obtaining sufficient funds to operate the state of Ohio, we are well, in my opinion, informed to address this reorganizational issue. The caucus and the senator and very strongly a few years ago, auditor at that time, Jim Petro, addressed the question of how you run the state government and how you organize it. There are ten core missions of the state. Those are education, public safety, public health, transportation and infrastructure, finance and operations, human resource development, community and institutional rehabilitation, business coordination, resource protection, and development. That makes enough cabinet posts to keep everyone busy as a practical matter. Those are ten areas of activity. Those should be ten separate departments. It is our belief that properly reorganized, the state could save $1 billion annually. How fast this would occur depends upon the scale of attrition from state offices. We are not proposing today that we ought to eliminate 11,000 people tomorrow morning, but we are suggesting that that would be a target number for modernizing state government. Today, business and industry all across this nation are faced with cutbacks. They have to look at the structure. They have to look at the numbers of employees. They have to look at things in order to survive. State government, being responsive and responsible to the taxpayers, can do no less. Governor Strickland said, December 23, 2008, these difficult circumstances can cause us to evaluate what's most important, to determine what our priorities are or should be, and perhaps enable us to get some things done 
They could not be done otherwise. In terms of the way government is structured and the way we carry out the responsibilities of state government, we would like to see to it that Ohio has the opportunity to be modernized, to be run as an efficient business, and therefore to save taxpayers money and to provide opportunity for this state in a restructured government to attract business, industry, and jobs. I'm honored.